The Matrix Map Search solution is designed to allow MRIS customers to determine a more precise map search area using the Radius and Polygon search tools. This video will show you how to get the best results when using the Matrix Map Search and how to use the Radius and Polygon tools. The most important thing on every matrix search is to make sure you select a county and keep your search simple. If you're using the map search, you don't need to enter a city, town, or zip code. Those might conflict with the map search selection. The more criteria you enter, the longer your search will take. There are a couple of different options for finding a specific location on a map. You can use the Jump To drop-down menu to select a state and county combination. You can enter a full or partial address and click the Locate button. You can even set a default location by clicking on the Set Default Location link. You can also switch from the Road View to the Aerial View. Once you're in the Aerial View, you can turn on the labels to show cities, towns, and landmarks. I'm going to turn off the labels and go back to the Road View. You can select specific portions of the map for your search by using the Rectangle, Radius, or Polygon drawing tools. I'm going to start by showing you how to use the Radius tool. I'm going to pretend that I want to look for homes within three miles of the MRIS office building. I'm going to enter the address and click the Locate button. The map will center on that address and put a blue pin where the address is located. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, click on the Radius tool, hold my cursor over the blue pin, click and hold the left button of my mouse, and drag my mouse to draw the radius. As I draw, the distance of the radius is displayed. Once I have the radius distance that I want, I let go of the left button of my mouse. Now I have my radius shape. Another good use for the Radius tool is to search for comps within a specified distance of a subject property, as stated within the FNMA guidelines. Now I'll show you how to use the Polygon tool. I'm going to click on the Clear option to clear all the shapes I've drawn. The Polygon tool lets you draw freestyle shapes to take advantage of your experience and knowledge of the area, eliminating streets or neighborhoods that don't meet your client's needs. Now I'm going to click on the Polygon tool place my cursor where I want to start drawing the polygon, and click the, with the left button of my mouse. You don't have to hold the button down. Just move your mouse, then click where you want to put another boundary point. You can draw as many boundary points as you'd like. Just remember to move your mouse, and click wherever you want to put a boundary point. To close the polygon tool, you have to go back to the first boundary point and click. Now I'm going to show you some more advanced things you can do with the shapes. When I hover over the first boundary point for the Polygon tool, a window appears that shows me three options. Delete Selection, Include Selection, and Exclude Selection. These options are available for the Rectangle, Radius, and Polygon tools. I'm going to draw a second shape and show you how I'm going to exclude an area from my search. I'm going to select the Polygon tool again, and I'm drawing a second polygon shape. It's going to overlap part of my first shape. Now that I've drawn my shape, I hold my cursor over the first boundary point and click on the Exclude This Selection link. The shape has turned red to show that it's being excluded from my search. If I change my mind and want to include the map selection, I just hold my cursor over the boundary point and click on the Include This Selection link. The selection has now turned green to show that it's being included in my search. If I want to delete a shape, I just hold my cursor over the first boundary point and click on the Delete This Selection link. That will delete that shape. When you're finished making your map selections, click OK. The map pop-up window will close, and you'll see the matrix search screen. Next to the map search button, you'll see red text that says map area selected. You'll also see a link that says clear map. You can click on that link to clear your map search criteria without having to open the map search again. 
We hope that you'll find our mapping solution to be an intuitive tool that provides more accurate searches and assists you in providing better services to your clients. Please continue to share your input by using the feedback link on the bottom of every page in Matrix.